Hello, and welcome to the new tutor training videos from the English Language and Literacy Program at LearningWorks. This training series is divided into seven parts, and while it is self-paced, we recommend finishing the videos in advance of the in-person orientation session that you have signed up for. Each part of the video training series is designed to help you accomplish three main goals. You'll gain an understanding of the lives of the adult English language learners, sometimes abbreviated as ELLs, that you'll be working with. You will also cultivate an educational lens or framework that you'll use to evaluate your students' needs. And perhaps most importantly, you'll learn how to help your students set and achieve realistic learning goals that will also inform how you plan lessons and make sure that your tutoring is effective. Each slide has an accompanying audio recording that will play automatically. The audio recording portion is designed to flesh out the ideas in the slides and explore them further. However, you are welcome to mute the audio recording at any time and simply read the slides. As we get started, here's a brief program history and an overview of how the English Language and Literacy Program got started and how it has evolved. Take a moment to read through this history, including some information about our founder, when and why we have changed our name and our branding, and to become more up to date with how we currently refer to our program. Here's Ruth Johnson Colvin today. She was the original founder of Literacy Volunteers of America, a national organization. Although the English Language and Literacy Program no longer goes by that Literacy Volunteers name, we are still very much involved with and connected to our work as part of this wider organization. In fact, we participate in regular meetings with other members of Literacy Volunteers throughout the state of Maine and share best practices and other resources as we continue collectively to fulfill the mission of this founder. We'll go into further detail on the lives of these students in the English Language and Literacy Program in the next part of the presentation. But for now, let's just take a quick view of some demographic information about the students in our program. The English Language and Literacy Program serves approximately 150 adult students over the age of 18 each year. In its early days, Literacy Volunteers of Greater Portland primarily served native English speakers. So these were people born in the United States who already spoke English, but who for a number of reasons struggled with illiteracy. The work of the program was primarily focused in helping these native born English speakers with their reading and writing skills. However, over time, due to trends in immigration, both around the world and in Maine, we have seen a dramatic shift. We now serve almost 100% of non-native English learners from around the world. The majority of our students are between the ages of 30 and 45, and most are low income. However, there are currently no income requirements for participating in the program. Each day, new students enroll in our program. And therefore, each day, our, demograph our demographics do shift slightly. The information presented here is a snapshot of our current student demographics. As of 2019, the majority of our students, in addition to the majority of new students in many English language programs in Portland and in Greater Portland, are from Central African countries. These include Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Congo Brazzaville, Somalia, and Sudan. We also have students from Central American countries in addition to Middle Eastern countries. There are always exceptions. Many students that we see are not necessarily part of a larger trend, but still represent a story of starting over in a new country or leaving one's home behind. We'll get into some of these themes more in the next part of the training. In the next part of the presentation, part one, we'll focus on understanding the lives of adult English language learners, or ELLs. 
we'll dig a little deeper into the cultural paradigms that our students uh, come from, as well as understand our own American culture. We'll think about how that might impact learning and communication, broad themes that do often manifest in the tutoring relationship.